Hello there, Guild of Heroes players. Today we're going to do a an altar upgrades walkthrough, the star altar. So, as you know, we need the star altar in order to upgrade our equipment and our abilities. You can preload any items in your altar of higher value and then gain unit uh, the unit count upgrades by putting a lesser item inside. So let's go ahead and do that. Today we're going to upgrade some abilities. So we're going to take out all the abilities we're going to use. We get rid of some items in the bag, make space. go to our ability upgrader this is where I store my abilities we're going to take two blues we're looking for blue ability dust so we're going to preload two blues and six greens Open up the additional slots and then you can load any type in here. Does not have to be blue. But the higher the ability or item will give you a greater yield on your bonus reward. So as you can see there, we've loaded six green, giving us 392 bonuses. And the basic reward, 105. It's that simple. Strat. On this is the same. Get them all low, then finish them off. Seven dust. That's how we do it. Totenreich way. It's a lay host Totenreich. Member of Awful Souls Guild in the Guild of Heroes mobile app game. It's that simple. Let's see what.
what we got. Yeah, yeah. 1,000 dust. Now we go over here. Back to the ability trainer. And upgrade our ability. Here we go for this one double charge. It's a great skill. Now start saving all your ability dust again for the next round. As you can see in my bank, I'm saving my oranges. I'll be combining those with six purple. I'm saving the greens because they have a high repair value crafting value whatever you want to call it the blues and the greens I use for upgrades jewelry items only save all oranges save all purples that's gonna get you your orange dust good luck hope that helps <laughs>